welcome back Your dreams were your ticket out Welcome back Andy Lee said Tyson Fury will use more power on his punches for the Wilder rematch. What a sports world. It's just boxing here. Um, Tyson Fury, new assistant coach, Andy Lee says the Gypsy King will be focusing more on sitting down on his shots when he faces the WBC heavyweight king, Deontay DeBron's Bummer Wilder, in a rematch on February 22nd in Las Vegas, Nevada. The goal is for Fury to knock out Wilder, and in order to do that, he'll need more power. Uh, former middleweight uh, world champion Lee notes that Fury, um, he has a record of 29 wins, zero losses, one draw with 20 knockouts, hurt Wilder several times in the fight last Saturday. I mean, excuse me, last December. That's a lie. But he didn't finish the job. This time he wants him to use more power on his shots to stop the unbeaten Wilder, um, who has a record of 42 wins and zero losses with one draw before the one knockouts. Man, get up out of here, bro. He couldn't even knock out Otto Wallin. Get up out of here. He ain't stopping nobody. Um, Lee will be working uh, alongside uh, Tyson Fury's new trainer, Javin Sugar Hill Stewart, um, to prepare Tyson for the rematch. Sugar Hill has been brought... Um, brought in as a replacement um, for Ben Davison. Um, and Fury uh, has worked with him before many years ago when Fury trained in Detroit at the Crunk Gym with legendary coach Emmanuel Stewart. Uh, Sugar Hill worked with him and Lee. Um, Fury would be vulnerable if he tries to trade with Deontay Wilder. Um, it's, uh, it's a great idea in theory to try and improve Fury's power, but in practice, it's pretty doomed for failure. Even if Fury does get a little more mustard on his shots, it will come at a great cost in terms of his defense. Um, to punch hard, Fury will need to stop moving, and once he does, um, that uh, he'll be sitting, uh, sitting duck for Deontay Wilder's right hands. Um, Fury would try uh, and knock out Wilder if he hurts him, says Anderley. Uh, I think Tyson um, Fury uh, for the Wilder fight will have to do what he does. Um, faint, move, be tricky, um, be very unpredictable, but also have a little more authority um, on his punches. Um, they claim that they hurt Wilder several times uh, the first time around with Sh uh um, so with Sugar Hill um, in the corner, if he uh, has him hurt again, I think you, you'll you see Tyson Fury go for the finish. Um, Fury lack of power was a problem for him in the first fight with Wilder. So if he had the lack of power, how did he have Deontay Wilder hurt, which is a lie. But as he was mostly slapping with the, with his shots as a result, Wilder stalked Fury around around the ring and uh, and wore him down in the ninth and 12th round. A tie Fury, Fury hit the deck twice after getting nailed by Wilder's right hand power um, power shots. Um, in the late stages of the first fight, um, Wilder uh, Fury fight, um, Tyson could no longer move and he had nothing to hold um, Wilder off on. So consequently, Wilder caught up with Fury and dropped him like a bad habit again and again. Um, so not surprisingly, Fury's father, John Fury, wasn't happy with his last performance against uh, Sweden's Otto Wallen last September, saying that Tyson looked as, as weak as a kitten. Uh, Fury wasn't just as weak as a kitten. He was also very lucky the fight would have been stopped by a lot of ringside doctors due to Fury. Horrific cut over his right eye in the third round. Um, the cut later needed um, an incredible 47 stitches to close. Um, Tyson Fury would have lost if the fight had it been stopped due to the cut. Um, that fight arguably uh, should have been stopped, and the fact that it wasn't obviously led to the cut worsening. Um, but Tyson Fury is now going into the rematch with Deontay DeBron's Bomber Wilder with a ton of scar tissue over his right eye, and Deontay says he's going to open the cut up right away. Um, it's very unclear whether John's comment was the catalyst for Fury switching out Davison from, for Sugar Hill or not, but it's possible. Um, Davison had done uh, an excellent job of getting the weight off of uh, Tyson Fury, but his punching power remained as weak as ever. Tyson Fury was never known for his punching power in begin with. But um, that's been a stubborn area of Fury game that has been resistant um, to change uh, uh, from, day, uh, from day to day. But like his cousin, Hero Fury, Tyson isn't a puncher. Um, he slaps with his shots and moves constantly to protect what some believe is a shaky chin. Um, he, do, he does have a weak chin. Um, 
my role is basically to be um, another set of eyes to give advice where I can. Um, if I can see something I think can be improved or work on, says Lee, um, Emmanuel Stewart would be busy with uh, Vladimir, so Sugar Hill would train me and Tyson. Um, I think it's an excellent match. Uh, Sugar Hill emphasizes a lot on balance and being strong with the jab, said uh, Andy Lee. Um, unfortunately, it might be an exercise in the fuddly for Stewart and Lee to try and improve uh, Fury's punch power. It's like trying to take um, a junk ball um, pitcher in the baseball to turn him into the next Nolan Ryan overnight. The chances of that happening are nil, and it's likely we'll see Fury as a slapper. He's always been when he faces Wilder in the rematch. Uh, Fury is a lanky six foot nine frame, makes it difficult for him to throw with power, and he worsens the problem with his bad form when he's throwing shots. Man, I'm going to tell you something, man. This is going to be a slaughter. Tyson Fury is getting knocked out within seven rounds. Uh, he's not going to develop uh, any type of punching power um, um, by February 22nd. The power is not going to be, I mean, Tyson Fury is who he is. He's, what, 31 years old, man. He's not going to change. I mean, his style has been pretty much working for him for his whole entire career. Um so he uh uh I'm not saying that um Sugar Hill can't um improve um some things in his game. I'm not saying that all I'm saying is Tyson Fury is who Tyson Fury is. Tyson Fury is not going to be better than what he was uh last December when him and Deontay Wilder fought. Deontay Wilder he can improve uh 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 on many levels because he came in um a little nervous his first time being on the big stage. Um he has improved over his fights because of the because of the competition that Deontay Wilder has faced. Um, Tyson Fury has fought lack of I mean lack of competition. I mean his last two fights was Tom Swartz and Otto Wallin. But man, by God's sakes, man, Otto Wallin took him to twelve rounds and cut his eye really really bad in the third round which the fight should have been stopped. But anyway, uh, we will see. Um, I, um, um, I'm looking forward to the fight. I know Deontay Wilder would pull it off. Um, no, you know, no diss to um, Tyson Fury. Um, I, you know, I think he's the third best heavyweight. Um, I have Deontay Wilder's number one, um, Luis Ortiz number two, Tyson Fury number three, and um, I have Anthony Joshua number four. But, um, you know, it... it it is what it is, man. Um, you know, it's you know, it's Deontay Wilder um time to reign as king of the heavyweights and it is what it is. Uh it's just boxing. Don't forget to uh, subscribe, like, smash the bell icon to get notification of all new videos. It's just boxing. I'm out. Peace.